I went to the Miku Expo 2024 in London, Wembley OVO Arena, and I brought Cheshire along with me. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the details about how bad this whole thing was, because if you've been anywhere on social media and followed this, you know all about it. You know all about how it was advertised as being projections on clear screen and then it was actually just a TV screen where the characters were so small you could barely see them. You know all about it. Instead, I'll just show you this vlog type video we filmed of the whole day of our honest experience going to this gig. Now, I bought the tickets back when they were released, like way back, way before we knew anything about this concert. And when I found out about the concert, I did consider actually refunding the tickets, but I also had a sense of, I don't know when I'll ever get this experience again. And it really feels like Crunchyroll, who organized all of this, banked on fans having that whole, we don't know when we'll ever get this opportunity again, because I'll say this much. I've never before been to a gig where it felt like the people arranging the gig cared this little about their fans. They know we're gonna come and they're gonna give us crumbs that we're gonna lick off the floor and thank them. Um, so I am a bit salty because I've been wanting to see this since 2007, but you know, I'll let the rest of the video talk for itself. We're here! Almost. And everyone came like probably 10 a.m., mate. Wait until you see the lines. It's crazy. But everyone is dressed up. It's kind of cool. It's fun. Do you think it's fun? It's quite interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Why are you Oh, that's when they stay in still. Yeah. I think they're playing there. Uh uh. Stadium. Where is we then? I think it's this one. Because it says Obo Wembley. Yeah, I think it's this one. Whatever that means. I think it might be. It's not going to be in here, is it? No. No, that's the football one. Football. That's for wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be in here. In there. Oh, that's the library. I don't know where it is then. Uh, wherever the merch lands. <laughs> oh, is this white? <coughs> Official merch. You can't see it on the video yet, but like, there's a great big old line up there. Alright, so there's two lines. There's one Look line for to go the colors. In. There's one line to go in, one line for the merch. Well, they're already going in, mate. No, but they're lining up, I guess. But uh... you're going to be standing, so if you're small, you need to go... <laughs> like, you're small, so you need to go to... Yeah, I'll have to be like... Oh, no, that's basically here. Yeah. Well, the fence is not very high. Yeah. I was about to say, wait, ro a oh, white horse. I thought it said, wait, Rose. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> wait, Rose? Why do you want a wait, Rose, out here? Do you want to wait in line for the merch? Merch. What do they have? Why don't you go forward? I'll wait in line. Merch line. We came too late. We came too late. Where does it start? Yeah. There. Does it? Oh, it's snakes. It's there. Oh, it's this one. There you go. Ovo. Lovely. She has stuff. What does she have? I don't know. Postcards. Looks like it. Wow. We're already here with lots of people dressed up. Are you sad you're not dressed up? No, I'm okay. I don't know what I dress up as. Hi, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a it might just be our venue, but they don't allow big bags, so you have to stash them away because they don't have a cloak room. You have to pay 17 quits, 1 7 extra to stash away your bag. Do better. All right, Chad, it's been almost an hour. We started out here. 
and we're we still got all this way to go. All this way to go. And Cheshire is convinced that there's not gonna be merch left. Yeah. But we're moving. Hooray. Where's my thumb? There. Hooray. <laughs> And just to clarify, they have not sent out an email or anything to tell about this. There are many, many people in line right now with big bags, shoulder bags and backpacks. And um, I guess they will be told at the door to go stash them somewhere else and pay an extra 17 quid to... Like, at least send us an email. Don't bring any big bags. Something, you know? Something. I just double checked our ticket. It doesn't say anything other than come with your ticket, show your ticket. It doesn't say anything about the backs. So a lot of people are in for a really unpleasant surprise at the doors, I guess. We gave up on the merch line, even though we were close. So we've gone to the line for inside. They'll open the doors at five for another merch line. Rock sacks are apparently not a code, but my shoulder bag is fine, even though it's almost as big as my husband's rock sack was. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. I don't get it. Uh, people with rock sacks will be told to stash it in Premier Inn for 17 quits. That's all I know. So, off to a great start. The hotel guests, I guess. Um, it is past six. We're supposed to be letting in at six. It's four minutes past, but people are having a good time. Waving their glow sticks at the people in the hotel across us. They're just cheering on them. Starting to move, starting to move, people. That would be smart. That would be smart. We are actually moving.
thing I forgot to tell you about the back situation is there was actually a person in front of Cheshire and I going into the concert who, 30 minutes before the door opened, got told to stash their backpack um, and then they had to get back into the line which at that point took up the whole street. I believe we left around 12 this afternoon. Been 12 hours, y'all. More than 12 hours. Don't do it. Right. Are you excited <laughs> about the gig? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm not excited, but I also know I'm not getting what was advertised. And I'm feeling lukewarm about That's getting like merch. That's like the goal. That's like the goal. I, I, it's not that I don't have the merch, but I don't know if I want to support a half baked event. Half baked event. Half baked. And you, how do you feel about the back situation? What's the spring of Hesha running? starts at 7 p.m. You'll probably have to come out like 10, 9, 10 to even have a chance to get any merch. We came out around 2 and you can see that people have been here from like 10, 11, maybe even earlier. The lines for the merch first when we came, we were in line for like an hour. An hour and then we gave up and we went inside we tried to go in line again for like half an hour ish and then we figured we'd rather be standing up front than have merch and so after the concert we try to get merch again but you know after the concert it's all pins and glow sticks so if you want merch at all at this kind of concert you need to come at like 9 a.m. to even have a chance but I got I got confetti, so that's my merch. How much would you give this out of 10? Mm, 5.5. Like, like, it was a nice concert, but the um, crowd was a bit much for me, to the band, and maybe because I'm not that big a fan. And yeah, the merch situation wasn't great, to be honest. Like, I never experienced that at a gig, and I've been to so many gigs. I never experienced like this level, of, yeah, this level of like lines and stuff. But I get it; it's, it's fandom. I think just all that combined, it was a very not great experience. Um, people were pushing in front, and when we watched the game, we were there quite early. And people were just walk in front of you because you know, F you, like, you just want to be at the front because yeah, they're really passionate about me too. But to the expense of like, they don't care about others really here. Yeah, like we had, when we decided not to be in the merch line and go in and get a good spot, we went in like two hours before it even started and we were like really up front and some people we noticed coming up front, I guess because they had, they had friends that were definitely waving them over, so that's one thing. But then all of a sudden there were just all these people up front that weren't there before and people like lit, like very much pushing, trying to push in front of us. Um, when we've been standing there already for an hour. I've been to many gigs where you're it's only on the floor standing situation. I've never really experienced people pushing in front of you. It's like if they know you get closer from coming earlier, they'll kind of respect it and stand behind people. They won't try and push in front unless they're smaller of stature, which some of these people weren't. They were quite tall. They were almost as tall as Cheshire, trying to push up front. Which is Cheshire is like six two, and a lot of the fans are my height, which is like five four. So imagine a lot of these six feet people just trying to push up front, even though they didn't come at the same time as you, and you've already been standing there for an hour. And then the characters weren't as big on the screen either, um, which we knew. I think it took off some of my disappointment. If I hadn't known that coming in, if I hadn't seen that it was false advertisement, I think I would have been like really 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 sad if I wasn't prepared for it to just be a TV screen with where one third of the top of the screen not even covered so when you're on the standing floor because they don't make the characters as big 
can't really see them. And they don't really raise the screens, they don't put second screens for the people in the very back to, to see it. So let's say we did come, like our train was late or something, and we came at the very end, and we'd be in the very, very back, we wouldn't be able to see any of the concert at all. So they didn't really take into account how big the floor is, putting up second screens for people to look through, or raising the screen or making the characters bigger. Um, like I said to Cheshire, if I had known from the start when I got the tickets that it wouldn't be projection or tall figures, I would not have gotten the tickets. It's absolutely not worth 70 quid. Um, <coughs> but after buying them, it's like, yeah, I bought them now. And it's not like I don't want to see this kind of concert. It was still like a really good set list. I enjoyed the set list. But yeah. I feel like if, if this ever comes again, I'll wait and see what other fans are saying what it looks like because if it's another situation of it's just a TV screen absolutely don't do it because they don't make it so if you're in the way, way in the back of the standing ground they don't try to accommodate how you can see it so you're paying 70 quid just to listen to the song which you might as well just put on YouTube at that point what do you think? yeah I, I really like the quality of the screen and the quality of the character is really nice but yeah, I was thinking like if you have people at the back, and if you are short and you're in the back, because this is a very, very big venue, you would not see anything at all. Even if you're sitting down at the back, so there's seats at the top of the rafters, they won't be able to see anything either. Like, it was such a small screen. It was really, like, surprisingly small. And they didn't even use the whole of the screen. Like, the character would just take up, yeah, like, as you say, one third of the screen, so... I, uh, I mean, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Vocaloid. Like, I don't not dislike it, but I, I'm, I came to this for the experience, and it's good. I'm glad I came here. But if it happens again, I probably wouldn't. I'll probably say you put it on your own if you want to go. Yeah, I don't mind a hologram. The hologram you showed me was cool, so I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah. But not this type again, unless unless, unless they... you have to do a lot of preparation. Like maybe come like really early. Like I did to get Alice, but we should come at ten thirty because. I know from Pokemon fandom, when, I, when the Pokemon store opened in London, I went at 6am so I knew how crazy Pokemon fans were and I was third in line and then I like let 12pm 12, 12 the line was just massive at the Pokemon center. But I managed to get some stuff and I was like, I bet Vocaloid is going to be the same because it's very rare it comes to the UK and there must be a lot of fans and probably other country fans coming over. Yeah, I'm just going to be a waffling there, but my point is like, yeah, you really need to prepare to go to a concert like this, where you know, you come early, get, have bring sandwiches, and it's so expensive to buy food out here as well, and then just wait in line, get the merch, get, wait in line again, coming to the venue, and then so you can come up, so you can go to the front of the standing area if you're standing. If you're seating, I think seating is the best option in these kind of games. I would not personally have paid for the seating because the seating are a hundred something quid and again with a small screen like that, not worth it. So if there's ever another Vocaloid kind of concert, even if you're a fan, look out for what other countries are saying it looks like because it, it really might not be worth your money. Um, it's a bit bittersweet because I've been into Vocaloid since 2007, Seven? when I was like 17. Been wanting to see it since then, and so. But like I said, I was prepared for it to be not what it said as high school. For me, yeah, five point five, same as Cheshire. We're gonna leave now. Bye. Thank you, everybody, for making it such a special night. I'm happy for the whole time. Sorry, Father, we are always connected.